Okay, we will now talk about a uh, generalization of the uh, previous ideas for capital N particles in a box. And here I'm considering an ideal gas so that there is no interaction between the particles. And therefore, when I say the potential energy is zero inside the box, this is going to be true even if I have more than one particle because it's an ideal gas, there is no interaction potential between the particles. So therefore I can think of these capital N particles independent of each other. So independent uh, free capital N particles that is trapped in a three-dimensional box, the same box that I considered in the previous video, and mass of one particle is m, I call m. So if I consider what will be the total energy of the system, it will be the energy of the first particle epsilon 1, energy of the second particle epsilon 2, all the way up to the energy of the capital N particle epsilon sub n. So epsilon sub i, i is the particle index, is the energy of the ith particle. So I add up the energy of all particles to get the total energy. <clears throat> now for the ith particle, uh, what are the quantum numbers? So let's consider I have isolated one of the particles call I call this the ith particle and For this particle similar to the previous discussion. I have uh, There will be three quantum numbers. So particle index uh, x uh, dimension n sub i y n sub i z uh, three quantum numbers are needed in order to describe the state of this ith particle. The corresponding energy, because it's the same problem as the particle, quantum particle in a three dimensional box, will be given by pi square h bar square divided by 2m, mass of the particle. Uh, the first quantum number nix squared divided by lx squared second quantum number niy squared divided by ly squared and the third quantum number niz squared divided by l sub z squared okay so for uh, the generalization to capital n particles because i have three independent quantum numbers required for each particle these will have three capital N quantum numbers in total so I have to give you a set of quantum numbers uh, in order to give uh, describe the state of the system so the first particle I have to give you n1x n1y and n1 uh, Z for the second quantum number I I have to give you n two x n two y and n two uh, Z and all the way up to the capital N particle x y and Z quantum numbers so this is going to give me the quantum state of the system and the corresponding total energy of the system will be specified by the sum, summation particle index i equals 1 to capital N pi square h bar square divided by 2m n i x square over l x square n i y square over l y square n i z square over l z square all right so uh, for the generalization to the ideal gas of capital n particles in the box i have to give you 
uh, 3n quantum numbers for each particle x, y, and z components for the three dimensions nix, niy, niz quantum numbers and for capital N particles I, I have to multiply that by capital N so three capital N quantum numbers so if I specify all of these quantum numbers I get the quantum state if I add up the energies from contribution from each particle uh, I get the total energy of the system corresponding to this quantum state.